a lot of engineers uh, can use it. It's an easy uh, tool and you can also visualize it very well with the, the dashboarding. So that uh, gives uh, right away context for people outside your department. The, the easiness and the interface uh, uh, to, to analyze your data. It's very quick, clean, and you uh, get uh, easy results uh, without going through a lot of data manipulation. Uh, for example, uh, using fingerprints, uh, uh, we needed to melt out uh, a certain equipment. Operators were doing it, not always the same time, and using the fingerprint you could easily see when it was done long enough and the process would operate good again and when not. The biggest value cases might be actually the, like some of the smallest, like uh, the alerts you can get. You can get it in your email or you can send it out to more emails. For example, when somewhere a level is rising in a vessel which nobody looks at, because it's not, it should normally be empty, should never uh, be liquid in, uh, but it does rise for some reason or due to an instrument not uh, reading well. Then you get the alert, hey, can you look at it and you prevent a trip. And when you prevent a trip on a, a plant, it gives you a lot of value. Huh? So uh, uh, that can easily go into the hundreds of thousands, especially if you're sold out. I would uh, recommend uh, Trendminer. It has uh, made uh, various contributions, as I said, and uh, especially the, the, the time you, you save by using Trendminer. Otherwise, you, you need to do a lot of data manipulation to get to uh, the right answer. And with Trendminer, that is much more quick.